Russell. I'm Adam Ali. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today's video is in partnership with Jambies. You've heard of activewear, but have you heard of inactivewear? Yes, that is the direction that Jambies is going. All right, we create some amazing athletic type wear, but designed specifically for you while at the house. I live in my house, like I'm obviously, duh. But I mean, like I work out of here. I spend a lot of time in here, so I can't be in like business leisure clothes or like a certain type of active wear that would make me sweat. Um, so yeah. Jambies comes through. It's the comfort and the quality for me. All right, check out the simple shorts by them, the sweater, and it, it, they got a whole lot of details with their with their stuff. Sweater, the, the, it's the comfort and the quality. Like I said, a lot of detail has been put into their uh, into their designs. The shorts still looks athletic but it's, the, it's super comfortable, stretchy material. We gonna unbox the boxers together, all right? Boxers with pockets. It's Jambi's time, okay? About to unbox soft, like I said, the comfort and the quality of Jambi's inactive wear is next level. Look at the, how stretchy this is. It's a, it's a double pocket. There's two pockets in here. It's on two sides. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there's two pockets on in one pocket. That's amazing. But yeah, they're having a super special sale for Black Friday. Use my code AdamAlley25 or hit the link in my description to take advantage of the Black Friday sale that they're having. Jambies is the inactive wear that you never knew you needed. All right, y'all hit the link in the description. I'm about to do a Q&A with y'all. So let's head upstairs. So about to do this Q&A. Hey, hey guys, listen, I can, I, I, I'm wearing Jambies, like I can move. Don't play with me, eh? I'm the tickle monster. I'm gonna tickle you, get out of here. You think you're cool with this chain? You think you're cool? Huh? Huh? You think you're cool? Huh? I'm cooler. I got jambies. My, look how look how stretchy my boxer is. Okay, guys, what's that on the floor? I'm out. All right, let's get right into answering these questions. I did a call out on my YouTube community tab. Thank you all for sending questions. Okay. All right. Do you have any tips when traveling with kids? I take it that you've seen maybe my Instagram stories of when I was traveling with the kids by myself. Um, it's just a mind frame thing. I think a lot of times we psych ourselves out even before you know we go through the experience of something. So I just I just made it very clear in my mind that ain't nothing. Going to, going to frustrate me, um, and I'm, you know, by the grace of God, I'm gonna go from point A to point B, and come back to point A, and um, I just had, I just, it's just a mind thing, you know. Naturally, yeah, you know your kids are annoying, they're gonna be fussy, and this and this and that, so that scares you before you take action. But you just gotta shift your your mind, your your outlook on it, and just go. So yeah, get your mom right. And um, just understand that yes, they're kids, they're gonna do all of that. And it's up to you to exhibit as a parent, as a grown up, you know, control of the situation. That's it. All right, next question. Nikita Harris says, ask, do you think that as great as social media may be, do you think the rise of it, of it mainly negatively affecting the generation as we know it, especially where relationship and love is concerned, and perhaps it was designed to be that way. What are your thoughts? I have many thoughts about social media. Some of the pros of social media, obviously it has allowed many people to become 
you know, self-made entrepreneurs, connect with, you know, a wide, connect with new people. I think there's a lot more pluses than negatives. Um, one of the challenging things about social media is, okay, we don't know what the negative outcomes are yet fully because we're still going through the process, but I can certainly see a lot of cons to it because it's easy to question what you have or what you are blessed with because you see so much more out there. Um, something I was going to talk about in a podcast is because people are so in, in, invested on how they look to, to social media that I feel, I feel like a lot of people are disconnected in real life in the sense where like you can sit them down and you can tell them, you know, X, Y, Z, but nothing's comprehending. Like it just, it's not registering. But if you say this, if you say the same things on social media, now there's an audience, now they pay attention, right? So there are, it's, it's very interesting and I think we're all going through it. And um, yes, it definitely has a significant mental, effect on everybody and uh it's it's a tricky one if you don't know how to check out if you don't know what's real and what social media like you don't have you don't have a real switch off button then you will be lost in the sauce next question would you move back to canada i love canada however there's a reason why so many i guess people in the entertainment social media space, um, influencers, uh, go to the U S the U S is just a bigger market. There's just a lot more people. Therefore brands have more of a budget. They have more of a budget to spend. Whereas Canada, the market is just too small. There's not even a lot of people in comparison to the United States. So it, f from a career career standpoint, it just makes more sense for me to be here. Um, number two is the weather. When I think about the weather in Canada, it actually pisses me off. And it pisses me off, and not just Canada, like all of the cold country, all of the cold states too. Like I just cannot believe how people decided to create civilization in these cold places. And it's and, and on top of that, they have convinced everybody that real estate in these cold places should be even more than warm places. It makes no sense to me. And uh, yeah, when I think about the cold, it, just, I, it pisses me off. You know that, that type of cold that pisses you off? Yeah. So the weather has played a, uh, a, a big role in why I don't think I'll be moving back to Canada. But let me make this very clear about Canada. I think we are the nicest. I think, uh, I think we're, we're we 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 mean well for the, for the most part. We're we're somewhat peaceful compared to, you know, many places, um, and we got the sauce. Like in terms of talent, like we're just like we're, it's our time. You know, we kind of just watched everyone and we learned and. Um, we 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 sparking it up as you can see i don't need to mention any names but yeah no to moving to canada but we're still the shit this question is from nina my question is how do you balance your money business and divorce with life commitment commitment sending blessings to you samir zainai thank you so much uh i've always naturally been organized and um it's about it's about creating systems that allows you to allocate time um, to, to get things done. One tactic that I use is, let's say I'm working on, you know, on something, I will literally every single day or maybe five out of the seven days, I will chip away on trying to get things done pertaining to that, you know, that project even if it's small, like at least 20, 30 minutes, you know, and that's just kind of my style. I don't, I, I hate, let's say 
researching something for hours. I rather just every day, it's on my mind. I'm, I'm learning a little bit about it. And it, it, you know, by like three months, four months into it, I, I have gained so much knowledge on it because I've been on it every single day. I moved the needle and, um, and that's how I've been able to launch so many operations, you know? So like I've been working on the social media slash influencer course that I've been telling y'all on how to monetize the influence. And yeah, you know, if, if everything goes as scheduled, I'm looking to launch first week of January. So, and, and I've used this tactic with all my operations. And you can also download my task management app for those who don't know called task muncher like i really be munching tasks i don't play around like i'll be going at it man like i don't care like even if i'm sick tired i'm gonna get things done um by any means i've never been bored like, let me let me repeat that i've never been bored because i think that's the cure to boredom is being amb sorry the cure the cure to being the cure to boredom is being ambitious. So I'm forever on it. Like I don't be lounging. And if I do lounge, like I, I had to, I had to lounge because I've been at, I've been at it for hours doing several multiple things, but yeah, I, I ask around like people know. <clears throat> and that's why I even created a task management app to help people out. So if you haven't downloaded, it's free. I, I don't get why people haven't downloaded it yet. And when they do, they use it every day. And if you do want to upgrade it, it's $1 for life. Come January 1st, I'm definitely increasing the price because $1, you know, as an introductory rate was cool. But anyhow, link in the description. That's how I get things done. And I know my why. You got to know your why. Your why got to make you cry. You know, I'll be saying things you already know. You know, I'm not saying anything profound here. All right, last question. Nina says, mainstream media plays a major role in conditioning the mindset of society as a whole, and it heavily promotes a certain aesthetic when it comes to women. Do you think that has an effect on the type of woman that men are attracted to? My response to that is, it's in your best interest, man or woman, to be true to yourself, because if you try to go with the sheep and try to do what everybody does, you might, you know, attract the person, the type of people that you have become, but deep down inside, you'll never be fulfilled. You might end up in a dark sunken place. So it's in your best interest to just be you. If you are a quiet, quiet, you know, not quiet individual, why go out there on social media and portray yourself as being, you know, loud mouth and just overly, provocative, just be you, right? And you will attract the ones that are on your frequency, right? The social media is just, it's just like an express, it's in your best interest just to be authentic. That's, that's the best I can say, because once you start trying to be, be like everybody, you might start, you might, you, you might become that, but your true essence will know better. And you, you, when when that when that reality hits you will be shattered so if you're sweet be sweet all the time but yeah thank you all for tuning in to today's video uh, appreciate all the, the questions i will do another q a in the near future be sure to hit the link in the description and be comfy like your boy okay with jambies use my code adam alley 25 right here today on black friday y'all can uh take advantage of the sale that they're having and um, they got a lot of stuff for all genders and um, you'll love it I love it anyhow comment below like subscribe and uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys I've been dropping uh, frequently uh, YouTube short videos okay YouTube short is a, a short form type of video similar to like what they do on Instagram stories um, or sorry, like Instagram Reels, TikToks, but YouTube has its own thing. So I've been uploading them frequently. Go check them out and comment on some of them. Let, let me know that you've seen them and let me know if you like that. Because a lot of the questions that you guys are asking, I've kind of like, like that's the type of style of content that I'm doing. So 
be sure to check out my YouTube forum videos. Anyhow, your boy's out, man. Appreciate y'all for being here. I'm out. Peace.